Alrighty, back again, Johnny Blaze, and uh, we're about to look at Gateway 2.0. That's right, it's finally been released. And it's a bridge, but still, it's been released. Now, I had a whole bunch of video to show you guys, but come to find out the original SD card I was using got corrupted. So, there went my footage, I was setting it up on camera, but... It's a benefit in a way because now I can actually show you guys what I've seen since then. So, first of all, first when you install it, you're actually going to, you know, install it like you normally do at 1.2. It's going to ask you your region and everything else. Now, I've had a problem with the installer. A couple times it's frozen up. So, I turned it off and started back up again and finally it worked. It's a little buggy. They said it was a beta. But, you know, so I have to deal with that for now. Now, some people say they can get into the gateway menu without, you know, pressing L. But for me, I have to press L to get in the menu. So it's either or. Now, we're in, now I'm going to press L. Tim DS profile. Now, you're going to see a couple things here. Boot gateway mode. This is the this is the EMU NAND with the gateway patches for the cartridge. Yeah, this runs slow, by the way. Let me bring it over here. <sighs> Much easier to see. Now, you also got boot classic mode. Which is where you can use a cartridge. Although, I don't recommend it if you have a safe fall on there. Back up your system NAND. Now, you're going to have to do that first before you do anything else to EMU NAND or whatever. You have to back up your system NAND first. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, what it does is it backs up your NAND or your 3DS to your SD card. Diagnostics is used the usual diagnostic tools you had before. And also you got format EMU NAND. Now, what that is, is it, that's the EMU NAND you're going to use to run the emulated version of 6.3. And what it does, now, you will need to get rid of every single thing on your SD card. Because it's actually formats the SD card. So it's better to back up your SD card before you're even attempting all of this. So this way, if you have your saves, they're good to go. And your other private things like your photos, your video, blah, 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 blah. Now, the reason it does this is because it actually makes a partition on your SD card. So, for example, if I put my 4 gig card that's in my Excel right now into the computer, it'll show me 270 gigs left instead of the usual 370. It actually partitions a 1 gig partition and you get the rest to put your save data back on so be sure to format your SD card before we begin now to get to gateway we're gonna go into gateway mode now this thing is hit or miss sometimes as you can see if that's the case, just turn it off. Which is a little hard to do, by the way. Turn it back on. By the way, you have to have the gateway cord in. I don't want Nintendo video. I could care less about that. Yeah, because this is something I have to show you because I'm not the only person having issues with this. Oh, now it's doing it. Before it wouldn't do it, now it does it. So it's really either or. Now, 
you can go in the eShop, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Because, as you obviously saw before, the Metroid that I just got. Now, here's the kicker. If you go into the, the settings, what happens is, you know, when you get out of that, it'll kick you back to 4.5. So, you have to avoid that when you're, unless you need to work on it. System transfers do not work. Because, you know, it'll kick for the same reason. It'll kick you back out to 4.5 and say you need to update. But for this, I'm going to go here just so I can show you something very important. Now, as you can see, it says, let me turn the 3D off. That would help. Gateway 3D 630.12. Now, when you update your NAND for any reason... Whether it's a new NAND or whether, you know, they gave you the okay to update to 7.0 coming out this month. You have to make sure it's at GW3D. It cannot be a version because that's your regular NAND. If you update your version, you're screwed. You're not going to have the exploit anymore. So make sure it's on GW3D. Now we get out. And we're going to be back on 4.5. So we're, as you can see, the gateway card's not there no more. So we're going to go to system settings. Other settings. Profile. Let's see if it screws up again. Nope. Seems to be working fine now for that. All right, the first game I'm going to show you is Batman. I have my, I have Zelda burnt, I have this burnt, and then I have Mario Party, all of which I have. The Zelda I have out down there because I was used, trying to show it on my 3DS and using that as the example for the retail cart. And yes, it does save, at least you know the gateway does. So they did get the, and it looks like they cracked the encryption for the saves. As you can see, it works perfectly. Now, when I come back, I'm going to have this, I'm going to show you examples of Zelda and Mario Party, and then an older game, so we can see that still works too. And here is Link Between Worlds. As you can see, you see the chart working. So you can see it. And you can see the files right there that I saved, at least on here. Now, when I tried to play the Zelda, my own copy of Zelda on the Gateway Classic mode, which is the retail mode, it, uh, yeah, it erased my save files. So, and it's done that to a couple other people too. Don't oh, mind. You know, now it sucks. I was pretty far in the game, but I really don't mind since I'm going to play it again. So, and now I'm going to show you Mario Party. And here's Mario Party Island Tour. I'm going to start that. I'll turn on the light. At least this camera focus is nice. Yeah. I'm impressed. It's a new camera, by the way. So. As you can see, that works. By the way, you still use the X and A to save. 
And when I come back, we're going to look at an old And, favorite. of course, finally, we have new Super Mario Brothers 2. I know I have a save file for this, so if all goes well, we should see it. Yep, and there's my old save file. So that's what the benefit of backing up your card is before you uh, upgrade. Okay. So now that there's one more feature we have to show you. Right here. Because I just got the Metroid today, but I know any of you could sit there and say, well, we don't know if you did or if you didn't. Because there's no swap note anymore, so you would think they'd stop bitching at me to upgrade it. So I'm going to show you that it does work by downloading an up update for Pokemon. I'm going to need it one because I'm, I'm not going to use my physical card on there, but I'm going to need that one day. Wait. I know I can change that any time. So I don't need to have to worry about it. I'm going to download now. So what you guys can see, it is downloading. But the Metroid that I put on here is for my Club Nintendo because I just decided to use a couple, you know, a couple hundred coins to see if it worked, and it does. Although it sucks for the system transfer because I have Phoenix right on my 2DS and I can't transfer it over to this. That bites. Oh well. It's like uh, facts of life: you take the good, you take the bad. And I forgot the rest of the song. And as you can see, you can download stuff on the eShop with the two, with the uh, Gateway 2.0. I'll download this to be on the safe side. But yeah, everything works. As you can see, clearly. And I know, I wish I would have, I wish the damn thing didn't corrupt when I did this the first. Because it's, number one, it's too much of a pain in the ass. And I had, number two, I have saved data now. So I don't want to format my EMU NAND again and then go through that old crap just to, for the sake of a video. So at least I've given, shown you in the menu what's what, given you the steps. And there's also forums that can help you with uh, the official gateway form. I should go on GBA Temp. Um, but some people on there can be, you know, really scornful of newcomers or like to troll people. But there are some good people on there. So, you know, don't be afraid to go in there and ask for help. Anyway, this is Johnny Blaze signing off.